Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. Good morning and happy Monday, everybody. We are so happy to be joining you once again this week. And I'm Brogan. Today we got some crazy USC news. Plus, there's a new royal baby on the way. I like to start off the show with some great news. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Go for, for it. Our USC football team won our game this weekend. Heck yes, I'm so excited that we are finally back onto a winning streak somewhat, hopefully. Can I like confess something to you? I have never seen Star Wars in my entire life. And I have no intention to, ever. Not even the new ones? No. By the way, speaking of celebrity encounters, I have my own celebrity Thanksgiving encounter. Okay. Um, D-list celebrity. Okay. But as I said, we moved back down to Orange County and mm -hmm. so I was walking the dog. And out of the corner of my eye, I see a real housewife celebrating oh Thanksgiving, gosh. taking pictures out front. So wow. Well, I'm sure you are just thankful. Just to throw that in there. So thankful that I saw thankful Gina for from that. Real Housewives of Orange County. I mean, he could have shaved the chest for I feel, the costume. Yeah, I feel I like mean, he could have done better. if you're gonna show the but... cleavage, maybe shave a little bit. But you know what? To each their own. We are back with Taylor Bashadi. Obviously, as we talked about, you are a fashionista yourself. So you're gonna help us kind of. I look think at... you are more of a fashionista. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm give it to you guys. Very like coordinated today. <laughs> but if that's indication of anything, we'll hopefully agree on some of these People's Choice Awards fashions that we saw last night. Let's see the first one. To me, it kind of looked like an apron, but like <laughs> it was. So maybe not. A maybe that's why apron. they only showed us half of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> it reminded me kind of like when Kim wore her dress when she was pregnant to the Met Gala and everyone said she kind of looked like a, a sofa. little bit like a tablecloth a little bit, yes, like on the bottom. Exactly. I mean, I would love to borrow it for Thanksgiving, but <laughs> maybe not to the PC. It's not really Thanksgiving colors, though. No, that's true. You know, we're kind of out maybe of season. Maybe I'll keep it around for like I don't spring. Know. It looks a little lamp shady on the bottom. Totally. It's kind of like a mullet where it's like business up top, party <laughs> on the bottom, you know? Is that like a two piece or is that a hood that like zips up? No, no, no. I think that it? was her hands. I think she was going like this and holding the star. Oh, oh, oh yes. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I would never discriminate against Santa. He can absolutely wear a crop top. Of course top. not. And especially like if you've been drinking some beers, like yeah. it hides the beer belly while showing off your right. beer belly in a synthetic way. Exactly. I just don't think that the gig she was going for at the Today Show was a good gig for her. She's a heavier person. She was on daytime at the Today Show. It's a very light place to be. I mean, like 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. is like hard news. People want to catch up on what they missed while they were sleeping. And then 8 a.m. to like 12 is light, like Kelly rip of fun, like easy going. Like she's, us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And <laughs> Megan Kelly is not someone like I want to wake up to. Like she's just, she doesn't, I'm, she's not my alarm <laughs> clock. I don't want her being the person that I want to like have a cup of coffee with. A hundred percent, I think that Ariana Grande, this was her year. <laughs> she literally has been in the news every single day about something. Her album was incredible. I don't know how she didn't get this award. We were talking earlier, we think it's some kind of conspiracy theory going on. I think Ariana Grande, as I said, should have taken them, but Ariana is obviously not doing a whole lot of public appearances. She wasn't gonna show up. So they gave the awards to, Nick, to Nikki to ensure that she would come to the award ceremony and get a big name there. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, and it does attract a lot of news attention because of the whole thing with Cardi B, so. Yeah, and she brought her controversy. I mean, she <laughs> thanked Donatella Versace for making her dress. She then thanked Michael B. Jordan for taking it off later. So, I mean, she brought the controversy <laughs> that they expected. All right, we are back with a performance that's gonna knock your socks off. We have Shia Diamond, and she's about to perform her new song, American Pie. Take it away, Shia. Okay. <laughs> you know what? We can come up with some stuff and you might want to use it tomorrow at your SmackDown Live. Perfect. Possibly. Perfect. You can you know? start new moves. <laughs> Take it. No trademark. All right. Let's see the first one. That looks like, you know what? It's I'm like... going to go Thanksgiving theme, Thanksgiving vibes, and I'm going to say that's the turkey leg. I mean, it looks like he's just like cranking that thing off. Take it off, take a nice big chunk. How do I beat that? I definitely think the turkey, um, what do you say? The turkey, the turkey what? leg? The turkey leg. Lift that thing off? Yeah, I think that's what it should be called now. Yes. 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 Kurt yeah. Angle, you're welcome. Yeah. When you do a finisher, do you get to, to name it yourself? Yes. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm going to say that's the human table. Hmm. Oh. I could use that as a table. I think it looks strong and sturdy. I think it's a clothesline. It what looked like you, they, he was clotheslining his head off. Do you do clotheslines? Yes. Is that a fun one? What's your favorite move? Like, what's like the one like you're like, this one's fun to do? I love to do Lana Crush. Basically, like we're breaking your back. Very nice. Yeah, and it's a finisher, and hopefully they tap out and you win, so. And if the back breaks, mission accomplished? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Hmm. That's All right. um, Carmella and Nikki Bella. I'm gonna call this one Holes, and I'm gonna tell you why. Holes? Because Let's Holes, have you ever seen the movie Holes? 
There's the woman, and she scared the living hell out of me when I was growing up. But she always said, "You're gonna carry me up the mountain." That was like her big thing. So it looks like that girl is carrying her up the mountain. And she, he never carried her up the mountain, which is why he was eternally cursed I until, was... he, until Shia LaBeouf <laughs> broke the curse. USC said that it's not their investigation; it's actually Homeland Security's. But they were like nice enough to kind of share it with us and let us know that they are kind of cracking down and they are going to be on top of it. So if you are buying a fake ID, not saying you should, <laughs> but if you are, um, be extremely careful and probably don't mail it to the FedEx <laughs> on campus. <laughs> yeah, on campus. Mail it to another FedEx. Just kidding, don't do that. They're no longer like buying one every single year. Which scares me because that means that Apple's now gonna have to combat that by ruining their iPhones. You know how there's like the rumor that they start to lag their phone after mm -hmm. a few years? That means that they're now gonna have to start doing that earlier in order to make you go buy one sooner. Please do not do that. Who's ever listening out there, if you're watching <laughs> The Morning Brew, do not lower the battery life, please. What is your Hogwarts house? Very now this nice. is super fun because Brogan actually um, has never watched Harry Potter or read. What is Hogwarts? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm so excited because I guess we're gonna find out our house. I already got some inside information from you on which house I do want, which apparently is not Hufflepuff. That is not a good house to end up in, apparently, <laughs> according to Roxy. The first question is, what is your Hogwarts? Oh, nope, that's the game of the game. All right, let's go to the next one. Would I be an idiot to ask what is Transfiguration? I'd rather explore the world. Yeah, I'm gonna go with explore the world too. Actually, no, I'm changing my answer. Oh. <laughs> Start a family ASAP, I'm a family Aww. guy. Do we have the answers? Oh. oh, we have the answers. The results are coming in as we speak. The envelope is being handed over to our director. Brogan, uh, you got help. Oh, throw my papers away. That's ridiculous. <laughs> How does that feel? I'm not. I wish we had like a description of like. What yeah, I wish I knew what that meant. Um, I'm not going to thank the Academy because <laughs> I don't like this award, um, but I do thank God every single day. And welcome back to The Morning Brew. Sticking with the Harry Potter theme of the day. I don't know why we're doing that, but we are. But um, yeah, we're gonna play a very fun game called Guess That Spell. Expecto Patronum. I would say Expecto Patronum gets you a shot of Patron num. <laughs> I'm gonna use that next time I go to a bar. I'm just gonna be like, Expecto Patronum to the bartender. And down slides a <laughs> shot of Patron. That will do it for this semester of Mondays on The Morning Brew. Thank you guys so much for watching every single week, and we will see you guys next semester. We're, um. we're available for hire.